All right, guys, welcome back to the podcast with Alex and Chris. Chris, what were we just talking about? Um, yeah, so we were kind of talking about how uh, podcasts and audio media are definitely going to be the future and kind of probably a replacement to traditional reading and books and like written media. Um, I think a lot of people have already been saying something like this, but I think that the reason makes a lot of sense, right? So I, I personally feel pretty informed about a lot of different stuff. And the reason is mostly just because I listen to a lot of audio media, whether it's podcasts or it's like audiobooks. Um, and if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense, right? Like reading with our eyes was not like, that's not something we've been evolutionarily adapted to. We've been, we evolutionarily adapted to hearing other people tell us things, right? Like with our ears and then storing that information away. That's, that's like what we were adapted to. And it's funny because I heard this, um, I think this is like a Steve Jobs quote or something he described a long time ago, but he basically said that like the evolution of technology in any realm will always be eliminating friction. So there's like kind of like this, this differential between, um, you know, like human usage and uh, like, or sorry, human usage of technology and um, like how that technology is consumed. I guess the best way to put it is like technology will evolve to just more closely mold to how uh, humans can use it. So it's like mm -hmm. literally what he did with computers, what Steve Jobs did with computers was I'm going to make tech computers from this thing that only like kind of like a uh, very specific type of like technology person can use, right? Computers used to be like all terminal based and you had to know how to code and you know, had to know all the terminal commands and things. And he said, I'm just going to like, m like push the interface closer to how humans can naturally use it. Mm -hmm. And so technology will just always um, evolve to be more like have a more friendly user interface for more people, right? And, and you can see that with AI rather than like, you know, having to uh, learn how to code or click around on a website, eventually you'll just be able to talk to a computer and it can just like do stuff for you on the internet or anywhere. True. And so ultimately audio is kind of the same thing, but you know, it's, it's just basically taking written media and making it more easily consumable for more people, right? Not everyone knows how to read. A lot of people don't realize that. Not everyone knows how to read, but everyone knows how to listen. Right. It's, it kind of uh, reminds me of like Siri kind of reminds me of like Siri making um, Apple products just like easier for folks who don't want to like send that text, you know, open their phone and send it. Right. Hey, Siri, send this text for me. But AI is going to be that. Oh, Siri's actually uh, starting to talk for me. But <laughs> uh, um, it, it'll be like, hey, AI, like do this complex task for me, like make a spreadsheet of this and then do this and then make that data into this. And, you know, that'll just be the, the future UI or user interface of like us interfacing with technology. So yeah, I can kind of see where you're going with that. Totally, totally. So I, I don't know, I think I think uh, more and more people are going to be getting more information from audio media. Um, and yeah, I mean, with with all the different AI tools now, it makes sense, right? Yeah. You know, uh, Text is going to get generated. It's going to be turned into a human-like voice, and then we're just going to listen to it. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's lots of growth there. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Do you want to jump into some of the topics today? I've got some heat. 